Hey, everybody. Welcome to the PWO WrestleCast here. We're doing our prediction show for the Elimination Chamber coming this weekend. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Matt. With me, he's the greatest ref in the world. It's Cod Sinclair himself. Yeah, I wore this shirt just for you, Matthew. Um, knowing how much you loved the Tom Brady era uh, for the Tampa Bay Bucks, um, the former 24-7 champion, um, Gronk, um, with his own shirt. So this is for you. So go ahead and drink it in. My mic cord isn't very long, so I can't hang myself with it just yet. <laughs> so <laughs> is it too early for uh, dark humor? No. Maybe you can lock yourself in an elimination chamber pod. According to Edge, the deadliest creation of WWE, which I just think is real funny considering Hell in a Cell is just right there. But, you know, to each their own, I guess. Yeah, but let's but let's think about, like, the first time we saw the elimination chamber and it was, like, presented as Eric Bischoff's, you know, with his stroke of creative genius and, like, how devastating this was. And then... It was a couple of years ago when they changed the chain on the outside to padding. And then, you know, we added lights. And so now it's just um, kind of set up to be just like a Hasbro toy. Yeah, it's safer, which is good for the workers, but it doesn't mm. betray the danger it once held. Yeah. So um, ever since the uh, the Mark Henry spot where the panel broke and it's like, am I in the match now? Or am I not in the match? Let's make it up as we go. <laughs> It's kind of lost a little bit of its luster. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to get into this. Yeah, man. So uh, we have five matches that are made official, but I'm going to go ahead and just shoot one out here for the pre-show match. Uh, last night, we had someone turn heel, I believe. I mean, it, it was it did, I don't know. It was a heel turn, but it didn't look like that great of a heel turn to me. Uh, and that was Otis and Chad Gable. Versus the Mysterios, they lost by disqualification. I think we probably see this rematch here on the pre-show. In which case, I'm going to go ahead and give it to the new bad boys, Otis and Gable. Yeah, I agree. Um, That would be a decent pre-show match. Um, We could also see um, either of the tag team titles defended on the pre-show also. Um, I I think either will be throwaway matches. Um, but they always find a way. What would be really surprising is if they stuck one of the the five matches currently on the pre-show. Um, I think that everything will stay as it is as of when we're filming this, which is Saturday afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Um, but um, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get a build to find a new opponent for Asuka. Yeah, I'm seeing some speculation that maybe just Peyton Royce is going to take the spot or what. Um, I don't know. Hopefully hopefully Asuka at least does have a match on the card here. Uh, God, she's had she's been the champion, but she's been playing second fiddle on, on uh, Raw here to the major storyline, which is a little frustrating for me personally, but it happens. Yeah, but now that real life has hit, has has hit Lacey Evans, maybe we can get back into making the Raw Women's Champion credible again, and man, making it relevant. Um, I have seen some speculation of maybe a Rhea Ripley debuting here to face Oscar, um, which I know, I know a lot of people would be also super about that. Um, hmm. I, I'm not against Rhea Ripley, but. I don't know. I don't think she should be shoved immediately into a title match. That's just agreed. Yeah, I think um, especially to build to Mania, I think this should maybe just be a pit stop. Something like you said, a Peyton Royce, um, maybe even a Dana Brooke. Um, is she still on Raw? I'm sorry. I think she is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Well, hey, sure, wild. Well, I mean, you get the wild card rule, and you know, random trades for. Uh, players to be named later and everything's lost its mind i don't even know anymore <laughs> yeah um but yeah some something to get us to maybe fast lane for a number one contenders match um some something of that nature but i wouldn't mind a build if we get there to oscar versus rhea ripley because it makes sense being yeah. as rhea, rhea ripley was um second to last in the women's rumble so yeah, I think it definitely would work. 
Um, I imagine with no Lacey Evans, this is probably where Charlotte is going to end up being and should have been to the first place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The yeah, which, over Charlotte. yeah, which if we do get Rhea, Rhea Ripley versus Asuka, then leaves a big question mark for Charlotte. What does she do? Where does she go? <sighs> Who knows? Yeah, it'll be interesting. But there, there's some speculation there on some pre-match, uh, pre-show cards. Uh, maybe some speculation on match that they add. There's always the possibility that they do a triple threat for the IC title. I haven't really talked about that, but Apollo Crews has officially turned fully heel. Um, mm-hmm. Big E has kind of put him in his place the past couple of weeks. Shinsuke Nakamura has been in there putting out that this is going to be a triple threat match. So uh, that's also a possibility. Um, anything could really happen between now and start time. Hell, it could happen on the pre-show. So, yeah, and I'm really interested to see what they decide to do with the IC title. Now that you said that, because uh, spoiler alert: if you haven't watched Raw or SmackDown this week, go watch Raw and SmackDown and then come back. Um, you know, you get Biggie like wheeled out on a stretcher into an ambulance, uh, headed to a medical facility. Um, you know, it, it's it it leads you to believe that maybe they're just going to strip him of the title and maybe we'll just get Nakamura versus Apollo Crews for the interim title. And then. Yeah. I hope they don't just strip him of the title. No, (laughs) but if he's horrible, but you, but you know how the E is possible. They're, they're, you know, they're not medically cleared to compete. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very frustrating but that could also lead to biggie maybe for bigger and better things honestly very true very true let's go ahead and start here on our main card and we're going to talk about uh maybe another match that's subject to change including a title match united states title is currently set for a triple threat match between bobby lashley defending against keith lee and riddle keeps messing me up here um but from all reports, Keith Lee is still technically injured, so we're not sure whether or not he'll actually be a part of the card. He wasn't on Monday. Um, maybe this is just someone to give him a little bit more time. Um, but I think all things considered, Bobby Lashley is retaining here. If this is a, especially if this just becomes Bobby Lashley versus Riddle, we've seen this match a thousand times—not really a thousand, but like four or five. Um, he has clobbered Riddle every time. Mm-hmm. Um, unless we were making the move for Bobby Lashley for WWE champion, Lashley shouldn't lose the belt here. Yeah, I'm. I I I one hundred percent agree. It's got it's got to be Lashley if it's now if it's still a triple threat. I still think it's Bobby Lashley, and then you can build to Keith Lee versus Bobby Lashley at Mania with it's Riddle eating the pin. Um. Yeah, which you which and this is one of those this is one of those situations where you're building to something bigger. So I prefer the triple threat to the three way dance, um, but the only way he loses is if it's going to be Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley at Mania, which Bobby Lashley needs to go over if that's the case, um, because is. the her business is gold. It, it's I think the best thing on Raw right now. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I, I love Drew McIntyre. I don't think he's ever really gotten his fair of a shake as I would love to give him, but yeah. No, I'm with you though, Lashley. All right. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Up next, we have the women's tag team titles. It's Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. I believe that the champions are retaining. This yeah. is uh, thrown together on SmackDown. <laughs> Yeah, don't have your women's tag team champions come out on NXT two nights prior and come out and say, we'll see you in two weeks. We'll challenge you for these titles. And then two nights later, now they're in a match for said titles with, you know, the challengers being um, WrestleMania opponents. Now, that's not set in stone. But it's, um, it's looking that way. Yes, that's what um, that's what the build is getting to. And also, was it just me or was Bianca Belair kind of healing it up on Friday? Yeah, without yeah. a doubt. That would be such a big mistake to me. 
Um, you just had her chronicle come out where they talk about everything that she's overcome. She has had this big, honestly, uh, very welcomed win by a lot of people in the audience, a lot of people backstage. Turning her here at this point seems like a big mistake to me. Yeah. Now, myself in particular, I would have rather a couple of other individuals win the Rumble. But, um, I mean, it's more than deserving. I mean, and the way you're building, the, the way you're building it up now, um, she's got to win at Mania. So it's how do you want her to come out of Mania, which is either um, either she's a face, which she needs to be, or she's a heel, and then we don't have faces on SmackDown in the women's division, um, which is very concerning, which this would be a fresh look to the women's division because you've had Bailey and Sasha for the last year and a half, essentially running the rub rubshod over the whole division um sasha's been more of a tweeners of late i don't yeah, think she's fully as well she's not fully face but she's not a heel either but she has heel tendencies mm-hmm. um, not getting the matches but she's talking you down real bad yeah um i still don't think it matters i think um like you said tag champions retain um I think now is the time, though, in two weeks to pull the trigger if we're going to get the titles off of Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Um, Because it's fast lane. What's up? Is two weeks fast lane? No. Um, Two weeks is the week of revolution. Ah. Gotcha. That's the night that um, Shaq and Jade Cargill will take on Cody and Red Velvet. Um, gotcha. It, it, it would honestly not surprise me between now and then if they were to come out with some sort of gimmick for the show, um, some sort of old school pay, uh, a pay-per-view setup um, to try and combat with that. Because um, we all know how Vince is. He's a big money guy, brings in the celebrities. And now AEW is bringing in Shaq for a match, which um, he was trying to get at Mania for years. He was trying to make it Shaq versus the Big Show for years. And the best he could get done is to put him in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle. Now, Um, I will say there was a one-on-one match that was supposed to happen. I think all of everything got set up for it to happen. I think that one of them got injured. I want to tell you Shaq, but... Yeah, um, but it wouldn't surprise me. And here's the other thing too. Um, in that in that NXT segment, did Dakota Kai and Kyle Gonzalez seem like they were playing it up as faces? A little bit, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so not that I mind Dakota Kai as a face. Um, you've been building up. Raquel Gonzalez to be a machine and a monster heel for months now. I mean, yeah. so it, it, it makes me question all of life. Um, yeah. But I still don't see them taking the tag titles off of Nia and Shayna right here. I think they do retain. No, I'm, I, I agree. I agree. I think this is definitely champions retain. My concern is maybe we see some kind of swerve slash turn here between champion and potential challenger. That would, would you would you say shenanigans? Shenanigans. I would very much so say shenanigans. Yeah. Um, for sure, one of them costs and the other one the match. Um, now it could be that they've been having both. Sasha and Bianca Belair play or, you know, give both face and heel tendencies to see which one they like more. And then whoever they like, whoever they want the heel to be, that's who's turn on something. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I kind of hope that doesn't happen. Maybe they just lose outright or, or maybe just some miscommunication, <laughs> something along those lines. Maybe, uh, maybe Banks gets taken out 
on the outside and she can't make the save on uh on bianca or something like that um yeah, yeah. Uh, i don't know i'd prefer this just be sasha's already a pretty decent gray character tweener push push belair as the face there's a lot more character invested in bianca belair um especially as of recently of course yeah. that might piss off all the sasha stands which might have just gotten me in hot water so we'll see if I that's okay week. that's okay all right up next we are going to go to the universal title well Elimination Chamber for SmackDown for a shot at the Universal title later in the night. Um, God. Uh, so, in this, we have Jey Uso, Kevin Owens, King Corbin, Sami Zayn, Cesaro, and Daniel Bryan. They are really booking this for as if Cesaro is going to win this. Um, because he is, there, yeah. I I don't want to get my hopes up because he is everything you want in a world champion. He can cut your promos. He can play either a face or or a heel. He can go in the ring. He can do whatever you want him to do. I think the I think out of everybody in this match, um. I think uh, Jey Uso and Corbin are the only ones that haven't won a world title other than him. Um, so, I mean, if you're looking at it from that perspective. Uh, Sami Zayn has not won a world title, technically. I mean, if you're the I mean, NXT, one, but... NXT title, but yeah. Um, the only two, well, see, I want to say Kevin Owens could win it because it could cut that storyline off finally. Lol KO wins. Yeah. Um, I can see Jay Uso winning it and him laying down for the tribal chief. Um, yeah. Um, what would be the most exciting would be Cesaro to win. Um, take Roman Reigns to the to the limit, lose, and then get his rematch at Fastlane. Because we all know it's going to be Roman versus Edge at WrestleMania. Um, if the last two weeks on SmackDown haven't shown everybody that, then I don't know what else they could possibly do. Agreed. I agree. I agree with all of it. I think Cesaro picked up the win here and then loses later in the night to Roman Reigns. Um, and maybe he will get the rematch at Fastlane, which I think will probably come to an end due to some Seth Rollins shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Get Seth Rollins yeah. versus Cesaro at Mania. Now it's the time. We're at Mania seasons. So now we got a book all the way through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it and that and should it, be a great match. Gosh, it's going to be such a great match if they're allowed to work, and that's the and that's always been the problem. But the best part is that we're going back to two nights at Mania this year. So, so hopefully you get the time. You have time. You don't need to cram everything into a five to six to seven hour spectacle. So we're assuming eight hour show. Across both nights, yeah. So four hours each. Um, last year it was. It last wasn't? year I think. Last year I think it was three a piece, about three a piece. Um, I could I I could be wrong. Um, but I think three hours for both nights is way more than enough. Um, I think. I think it's the perfect build to get there where you get Roman coming on top. Um, Cesaro looking strong in defeat well enough to get his rematch at fast lane. Rollins caused some shenanigans. Um, getting that match at Mania. Um, so I don't think they'll go the New Japan route with the two night Mania where you know, you can defend one title one night, one title the next night, or champions double double dip, um, considering they're planning on going back to one night next year. Um, so, um, but yeah, go Cesaro. Yeah, I think it's definitely Cesaro here. I, I can also see Daniel Bryan or Kevin Owens. I think both of those guys have a legitimate storyline there. Yeah. Uh, 
but I think this is all for not considering. I think we all unfortunately know where the title match is going to be a mania. And we don't have that same question that we do have for the WWE championship in the elimination chamber. Uh, we don't exactly know where we're heading. Although I have a kind of a, a good guess. I think Drew McIntyre is going to defend his WWE title in the elimination chamber against AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Sheamus and Kofi Kingston. Now, on paper, this does not sound like a great match to me. Um, I really like McIntyre. I really like AJ. And I really like Sheamus, believe it or not. Randy Orton, if he's motivated, I'm about it. Kofi Kingston, I think, would be a lot of fun in here. But I think we're going to see some shenanigans with Retribution. Um, Ooh, okay. It all started with Mustafa Ali in the chamber. And that's where it should end for Kofi in the chamber. Um, but that's just me. I'm just an internet booker. Um, and Jeff Hardy shouldn't be in this match. So <laughs> I would I would have someone else in this match. Oh, yeah. Your roster is stacked. But yet we have Jeff Hardy, who is on Raw and is in this match. We have capable workers on Raw. You have... Um, Shelton Benjamin, who's not in this match. You have MVP, which would have been a great addition to this match. Um, you know, getting some hurt business in there. Um, Ricochet is still on Raw, I believe. I would maybe have Mustafa Ali. Ricochet would be a good one, but he's not been on TV enough for me to really say that. Uh, I would also say John Morrison would have been fine in this match. Uh, well, Ali's that- would have been better over Jeff Hardy, though. Yeah, um, I think what's likely to happen is um, just as Edge did to Kofi Kingston many moons ago before getting into the chamber, um, just as Kofi Kingston comes out last, um, Retribution um, takes takes out Kofi, as you said. Um, Ali's going to take take his place. Uh, I, I love that prediction. I love that prediction. We'll be behind um, that 1,000%. Um, the other thing I could potentially see happening is Randy Orton um, somehow um, breaking all um, break, breaking all time and space, not being in this match anymore. Um, <sighs> some, yeah. Something's got to give with this because it's <sighs> so the the Alexa Bliss penned pentagram thing from the other night it's making me really get some carry and cross vibes um so i talked to friend of the show drew mcneely about this bam neely he is not happy with the fact that i potentially predict that randy orton will be transferred out of the elimination chamber via fiend magic um, and be replaced by Karrion Cross, um, aka the Fiend Spirit in Karrion Cross, and he agreed that's the most raw thing ever. <laughs> the only thing is, he already has Scarlet, and we true. wouldn't double up with him and Alexa Bliss. I feel like that's it's true. A lot. It's true, but that would be the most raw ass thing. Yeah, uh, let me let me throw another one here for you. That yeah. That might be on par with this. Mm. What if Randy Orton suddenly catches fire in the elimination chamber? Spontaneous combustion. <laughs> yes. No, but yes. Oh, As all of the lights switch to the fiend eyes and he's here Damn. and just ash in the ring where Randy Orton was. Randy Orton's not dead. He's just backstage and he's going to put back on his Phantom of the Opera mask. Oh my but, god. I don't think any of this matters as to who I'm predicting to win. Um yeah, no, none of this does. It's no. still going to be Drew McIntyre. Are you going with my favorite redhead stepchild? Sam. The safe bet is a J Styles. Oof. Now, I I 
would be totally 100% fine if Drew McIntyre retains. But my only problem with him retaining is if we're building to him versus Sheamus at Mania. Okay. So that would be my only problem. That's a fast lane match. <laughs> and that's totally fine. Um, my theory on this is um, Drew's held the title for a while. Um, he's for, you know, for the most part, the last year and a half been the world the champion. Yeah, he's been the the guy. Um, I'm an AJ Styles mark, though. Um, I believe whatever you put him in, he will do, just like Cesaro. He can do whatever you want. And this also gives them time to flush out the McIntyre Sheamus stuff at, at Fastlane. It also gives Edge maybe some more to contemplate on. Maybe we don't get Roman Reigns um, edge at mania, maybe we get AJ Styles versus edge at mania. I think um, with as much as Vince McMahon changes things on the fly, um, this just gives him another avenue to go down. Um, as long as it's not Jeff Hardy and as long as it's not Randy Orton, yeah, I think if it's anyone but those two, I'm probably happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but let me tell you why it's going to be Drew McIntyre. Uh, and there's a part of me that goes, you know what? Maybe Sheamus actually wins it here and then drops it at Fastlane, which I could see. But I more so think maybe Sheamus is going to start in the match and then will be the last one eliminated by Drew McIntyre. Sheamus is going to go, look, you beat me after four other guys tried to meet me one-on-one fast lane. Let's sell this the right way. Um, and then he's going to retain there because who's the one guy from that friggin' Survivor Series team that never got his title shot? Braun Strowman is going to face Drew McIntyre for the title at WrestleMania. Man. Sorry, dog. That makes a lot of sense. It's it's the math adds up. Yeah, it really does. Um, I I would rather see Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Yeah, no, I'd be about that because a I'm all for two uh, UK guys fighting it out. Yeah, I think that's yeah. great. Um, yeah, I think it's. Um, I'd also love maybe a Wade Barrett. In a Barrett barrage at WrestleMania versus Drew McIntyre, but that's me being greedy. Um, yeah. Although there is but, definitely a storyline over who is the UK's first WWE champion there, considering well, Ed Scotland isn't necessarily England. Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> um, what do I know? I'm just an internet booker. But. Seriously, anybody but Jeff Hardy or Randy Orton. Don't care. Yeah. Really don't. The oh Miz God, can get here and I'd be fine with it. Mustafa Ali for the WWE title at WrestleMania. Listen, I, I, anybody, anybody at all. Um, although if they want to get retribution over. They don't. They would say <laughs> don't. Yeah. So we'll, so we'll leave it at that. Um. But yeah, I think the two, I think um, McIntyre could retain, AJ Styles could win it, he's safe. Um, Sheamus winning it is story. I mean, you could build the story with him and Drew McIntyre. Um, I don't think Kofi will win it. I think we'll eventually get Mustafa Ali and Kofi Kingston at Mania. Mustafa. Mustafa. Yeah, um, that's the name right, man. Yeah, well, we're, 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 you know, trending into the Fondango stage of people mispronouncing his name. Same name. Yeah. Name. Um, but yeah, Jeff Hardy, I don't care about. Randy Orton's going to get either Alexa Bliss or Bray Wyatt at Mania as my Alexa goes off. <laughs> what was that? You have dominoes enabled. Do you want to open it? Dominoes. Hey, 
stop. You know, it's just like we were playing in an elimination chamber watch party. I like oh. it. It's not not sponsored by Domino's, but it could be. God, it's not gonna get any better than that. We just need to cut it off here. Hit him with the plug. <laughs> yeah, guys, check out the YouTube. Um, check out Quick Count, Ref Bump, Referee's Discretion. Um, check out maybe our other prediction show. Tell us um, what we got wrong. We love being told we're wrong because we're internet marks just like you guys. Yeah. Um, also, Sunday night or Monday, come back to this and tell us whether we were right, right or wrong, or how right you were and how wrong we, we were. Um, guys, just check us out. Support us where you can. All right. Go check us out at our Kofi page. That is Kofi.com slash PWO 123. It's as simple as 123 for just the price of a coffee, a cup of coffee every day. Um, you can support us in making great YouTube and internet videos just like this. And it's just what you want when the world is going to crap. For real, guys. So with that, uh, thank you guys for checking us out. Also, check out our WrestleCast live on Facebook on Monday when we're going to talk about this show and give you our review of it, whether we're happy, sad. Maybe we're even going to talk a little bit of progress. That show's about to start right now. Oh, yes. Thank God. So. With that, I must bid you all adieu. Thank you all very much for checking out the video, and we'll see you again very soon. Goodbye and good night.